Hi lovelies and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the Gemini General Energy Reading for the end of December. Although I'm recording it at the end of December, I am fully in the belief that time is fluid. So if you find it in a month's time, six months time, please take the information when you find it. Go with what resonates with you, bearing in mind that it is for the collective and not everything may resonate with everybody. Okay, so Gemini, what do you need to know for the last week of the year? Oh, them cards have fallen out. Okay, so the first card we have is Truth and Integrity. And I actually feel, Gemini, that for a little while you have been hiding your true you your true feelings i feel like there's a lot of you not necessarily being totally open and honest about how you feel and your opinions it's more how you feel i feel like there's whether it's friends family relationships you're you're holding back on how you truly feel some because you don't want to hurt the other person because you feel that honesty might cause confrontation but actually you might be pleasantly surprised and by speaking up and telling your truth showing your truth it can move things forwards and help situations clear that bit of stuck energy between you in whichever dynamic relationship it is because when there's something unsaid it can bring a cloud of unsurety around and the other person can sense it whether you know they can or not okay so I feel like it's important to be true to yourself and true to others around you this week we've then got the study and the balance card and I feel like a a lifelong lesson for many of you is trying to keep balance within your life and it feels to be really showing this week because you're surrounded by more people that take I don't want to say take advantage, well maybe take advantage slightly of your good nature, of you always doing stuff. Know it's okay to speak up. It's your life lesson to begin to speak up. It doesn't mean you don't do anything for those people that you care about, but actually you need to do a little bit less and so you can give yourself a bit more. It's important to strike that balance and when you start showing the universe the angels that you are realizing this life lesson things will begin to change slightly and it will feel well life will be easier for you because you'll be in a better situation but i feel like the universe will support you in you learning that lesson and allow others to be helping themselves more so you need to do a little bit and then the universe will back you up and put things in place to help you along that way because you are deserving of a bit more time and a bit more self-love for yourself but you haven't got the time to do that when you're giving so much of yourself time or energy to others okay so let's see what the tarot cards to clarify these cards Yeah, so we've got the Six of Cups where there is the giving of love and that needs to be in balance because it's good to give but it's also good to receive. So allow yourself to receive whether it's love and support because love comes in so many different ways. Okay, and then we've got the Queen of Pentacles and I feel like that is a bit of you just taking that little bit of time for yourself and pondering and the realizations because life seems to go that fast that sometimes a month will go by before you actually realize what you've been doing and trying to stop those things you do without thinking about which you need to start doing a little less of okay and then we've got the knight of wands and i feel that is the universe and you moving forward from how you are at the moment not changing you as a person, but just changing some small traits to make things a little bit easier for you. Okay, Gemini. 
So let's see what the universe card message has for you to sum up your reading. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. So just keep looking for, it's not really an outcome you want, it's just slight little changes. And so, and that is the highest good for all because some people need to do a bit more for themselves, which will help them in the long run. So take care of you, Gemini. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate all of your support. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of future videos there is daily divine guidance every day and other videos coming up i hope you have a fabulous christmas and if i don't see you before a fabulous new year and take care of you namaste